Previously on Making the Squad. Well, I'm doing the same thing over and over again. Oh my gosh. Hi. Man, I get this out of my face. <laughs> Eight remain, with the last elimination still ringing in their ears. This, this chance is going to be so important. I hope we'll go back to, the, to our roots and do more, more football stuff today. It's, it's, it's such a good Still need to win that. Yeah. It's the last moment of reflection before the action. If I was to leave, I would be sad about the competition and I would be upset that I didn't, couldn't get any further, but... The main thing is I'd be sad to leave this environment and this house and this kind of bond that we've got. One, two, three, let's go. For the contestants' fourth IRL challenge, they would be dancing to a different tune. The man damn! Yeah, yeah. One that was going to take most of them out of their comfort zone. One, two, three, let's go. What do you think we're gonna do in it? Yoga. <laughs> That's it. Proper gymnastics in it. Today's all about personality, and it's a real turning point. You need to have personality. Brands buy into that massively. We're going to be doing a goal celebration and dance routine. So I feel like the obvious question is, who can dance? No, nope. <laughs> Ruski's looking at me like I am not on this. <laughs> because a lot of you are nervous and stiff, yep. I'm going to bring a chew up. Put your hands together. Make some noise for my G! Yeah, man, can't be doing this spin. He's hard! He's hard! He's hard! He's hard! Majid, also known as Magilla, is a highly talented dancer and performer from Germany. His skills in new style hip hop and house dance have made him an established name in the urban dance scene. This is going to be exciting. Yeah, but brother, I really need you to guide them, yeah? This one's stiff, good guy, great heart, great personality, but stiff. And this one is nervous. Look, his hands haven't come loose the whole time he spoke. Dancing is emotional, it's a language, yeah? I started dancing because I couldn't communicate with people. And that's what I'm here today. I'm going to help you to tell your story. And at the end of the day, I'm going to judge you. The contestants had only a few hours to settle on an individualized goal celebration. Rehearse it and put it into practice in real life. I think for me as a kid, my parents always wanted me to be some like a lawyer because I'm really argumentative. But I've always been an entertainer. I've always felt like I was an entertainer. That's why I'm here. And that's what it's all about. Hey, 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 hey. You all are gamer. You are playing. You are playing. You're doing some. You are playing. Rehearsal's over. It's now time for the eight contestants to take centre stage. But who is going to hold their nerve? The contestants are scored based on three separate elements of their celebration: creativity, originality, and cockiness. Lads, we're outside. I know you didn't expect to do the gold celebration slash darts routine out here, but this is where it's happening. So, raise your hand if you want to go first. <laughs> no, thank you. Yeah, he said, one in the red. Amenya, you're up first. Come on, come on. Oh! Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Reja! That is the stiffest gun lean I've seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Creativity, four points. Yeah, individuality, three. The cockiness was good sometimes, but I feel a little bit more, so I'll go with three points as well. Go with 10 points, yes, go. All right, round of applause for Armenia. Yes, make some high five, yes! Tap it. 
There we go. You come out the zone, everything. Oh, we've done the little. There you go. <laughs> Let's go, Basti. Let's go. I like that you went to the guys, we were battling them. There you go. Brusky. He's done, he's done. Give him a round of applause. There was no cockiness, actually. As you can see, my people left me hanging, so. <laughs> <laughs> the commoner. Right, let's see what you got, Charles. Aye, 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 aye. Reverse this. Look, 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 look. I'll be honest, I didn't expect that's it. my favourite one so far. For the cockiness, I give you five points. Oh! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> give it up for Shabo! Aye, 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 aye. Individuality. Yeah. You're Greek. Didn't come out. It didn't come out. No. Up next we have Cross! Oh. Latino flavor. Oh. Wanna do a cheeky skill, you know? Hey. Oh. Hey. 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 I can't hold it in. But yeah. a donut. Hey. <laughs> he looks like a Wally. <laughs> The way you end, it was like, oh, I'm done. I'm going to give you two points for this. We are down to the final two. Rose will be going up first. Hey, ooh, camera work. Hey, he's doing it for the if camera. He, if this brother hasn't won the flipping Woo! thing, then I don't know for this. Camera. Look at him. He's moving like silk. Hey. Hey! This ain't come off my face. This is cocky, man. Asking somebody, you want this style? I'm going to show you. Yeah. No. yeah. <laughs> and he was like, yo, camera, I'm here for you. Boom, boom, ba, ba, ba. There you go, man. Make some noise for Peke. Woo! 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 Hey! <laughs> aye, aye. Oh, he's top rocking, man. Woo! But we need to finish. Hey! Ay, ay, ay. Oh. <laughs> went like this and said, like, that. I'm going to give you five points for the cockiness. Oh. Yeah. Three people have tied. What we do now, I don't know. What do we do now? <laughs> it was down to three, settled by a dance-off, with Majid deciding who was the winner. All of you guys are going to go on the same time with the music. Yeah, I'm going to judge you. It's up to the top three to see who has the best skills. Yes, my man Rose, silky sleek. Wow, Jordy still thinks we're warming up. Is the commoner actually bottling it? Keep going. All right, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. All right, okay, I'm gonna choose one. Yeah, and this one is clear. Rose! Rose will receive a tactical advantage, the chance to decide who will go head to head in the dome. Uh, so myself against Amenya. Big game. Yeah. Big game. Rose versus Amenya. Jason against Bastian. Wow. Oh. Peke against Rusky. Peke versus Rusky tomorrow. And the last one, the commoner against Crunch. Okay. Tomorrow, two people go home. Do you want it to be UTC? Guys, the best of luck for tomorrow, and I'll see you all in the dome. Personally, I think Will is such a nice guy. He didn't actually want to send anyone home himself, which is why he picked the safe matchup against the Menya, because they're both safe. Me and Bastion are probably the closest in skill level. 
Although personally, I think he could have put me up against Commoner as well because he's someone that's been really good and um, it would have been a good match. But I think he wants to, he wants to get me out of this, uh, out of this show. So when I was 11, I moved over to England. My parents uh, split up, so my, my mother, who's English, took me with her to England to allow me to have the best chance at football. So I remember being on the bus for my first match, and everyone knew each other because everyone had already been to kind of primary school together, and I was just this Greek guy, this Greek kid, actually, at the time, 11 years old. And I think I scored two goals, and then everyone kind of like perked up, and even my, my coach was like, okay, I remember that. And then I got call-ups for my local district, and then my local county to represent in Berkshire. And I had a few trials and eventually I went to my local team, which was Swindon at the time. So I remember the injury very, very, very vividly. It was at a corner and I went up. I remember just landing straight st with straight legs. Total obliteration of the ACL and both meniscus. The doctor came back and said, it's gonna need surgery so you're gonna have to be out for at least a year and rehab and stuff and I think that's when it really kicked in and I remember just sat there and the whole room was spinning and even when I went home I don't think I spoke to anyone for about a week after that I was just when you work for something that hard and it gets wiped away by something that is a freak accident yeah you have no say in the matter you just have to deal with it and a lot of spare time so I decided you know, I'm, I'm already playing games I'll just stream it to the world and see who listens. I enjoy making people laugh, feel something, and to be able to wake up every morning and say, this is my sole focus today. I can sit down and make all this content for people. It will be incredible. Yesterday was tough, but that was just the beginning for what was to follow. Now, match day. For me personally, I feel like I'm somewhat safe because obviously I've got my three points from the last round, but your game, if you beat Basti, that's pretty much the best player, pretty much eliminated. And that changes the show. There are going to be a lot of twists and turns at some point. Decisions will need to be made uh, that are going to make people upset, but that's what the, the name of the game is. We've got to win these games no matter what happens. It's a tough situation, you know, we are friends in the house, but we have to play against each other and try to make some wins. So yeah, it's very difficult, but we are here for, for the G2 spot, so that's the competition. Welcome back to the Dome. We have eight contestants left. The bonds they built will be tested to breaking point. Winning is the only way to survive as two more will be eliminated tonight. The winner of this whole competition signs to the best esports company in the world, which is of course G2 Esports. But second to that, you win 10,000 euros cash. <laughs> I didn't even see you do that. You could have you could have made 60 quid there. <laughs> I selected eight top international teams for our contestants. They picked teams out of the trophy in the order that they finished in in the goal celebration challenge. That's good. That's Germany. Good. That's Spain. Belgium. Oh, 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 he's got England. Argentina. Oh. Portugal. Let's go. He's got France. Netherlands. Oh. Our first match of the day was Rosé versus Amenia. On FIFA you have to be patient. You cannot always score goals, 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 goals. I know the people that are below me in the table definitely would not pick to play against me if they have a choice. Let the games begin! Amenia had an early chance. He's in here. Big chance it is. And a goal! He was really taking control of the game. Rosé hit back with an equaliser. What a goal! And that was half time. Oh, yes! Offside. Denied by the flag. Can he do it to take the lead? Yeah. Amenya retook the lead. Oh, 
Menya extending his lead to put him further from elimination. Rosé made a last-ditch effort. Good ball, one back here. Which he does. And scored in the 91st minute. But it wasn't enough. And at full time, it was 3-2 to Amenya. Did change my game plan a little bit. When I came up against my previous opponents, yeah. it was high press, intensity, get at their necks, don't let them breathe. But I don't know if I do that against Rosé, he'll find the gap. So I was a bit more conservative. Many people have their opinions. I can bring you facts. Oof. I faced Milo. I was the only one that didn't let her score. They then said, Peke, the best defender in the game. I bagged him for six. They still doubted me. They still said, oh, you're getting easy opponents. I then faced Crunch. Got my three goals in record time. They still doubted me. They still wanted more. Now there's Rosé. That's your result. Are there any more questions, please? <laughs> Our second match was Peke versus Rusty. Me against Peke. We are quite on the same level. We will see how, how it's gonna go. Let the games begin! Rusky was pushing forward early. And they get themselves in front here. And a goal! A goal within six minutes. That puts Rusky 1-0 up. Second half, this game was a slow burner. Will they get themselves level here? No! Peke scored to bring himself level. It's there for him. But a second one for Rusky made it 2-1. Rusky pushed for another and stretched his lead. Yes, and it goes! Peke clawed one back, but it wasn't enough. Final score, 3-2. My plan was to to keep the to to keep it tight okay. and uh, to because I had a, lo a lot of good players in front. So okay. uh, yeah, that was the game plan. It worked for today. Yeah, it worked. Well done. Our third match was the Commoner versus Crunch. So the first two games I won and I was fairly comfortable, and then the last game I only felt stretched once, um, and I haven't conceded yet. So I'm I'm pretty happy with how I'm performed fever wise. Let the games begin. <laughs> The common applied all the pressure. Oh, superb skill. He hit the post. Oh, oh my. Close call for Crunch. Can he finish this? He oh. defended well. Making sure nothing untoward happened. The common up couldn't find the way through. Are they going to forge ahead? That's still an opportunity. And he got us on the second time. Sorry. First goal went in just before half time, 1 0 to the commoner. He's got the right idea with that pass. And another one! And then 2 0. It really was crunch time. Second half. Chance to make a game of it. A goal! And crunch clawed one back. The commoner conceded. This is unknown territory for the Londoner. And then an equaliser. Crunch letting him know it wasn't a one off. Who saw this coming? Incredible! And at the whistle, it's 2 2. Good game. Oh, you gotta either win or draw. I mean, a draw could actually work. It wasn't a good game for him. It was, he was not pressing, he was not his actual self. It did take me some time to find out the commoner's weakness. <laughs> you know, I was losing for 45 minutes. Match four, our final match was Jabor versus Basti. I really need to lock in and try and try and win this competition because I really want to be a part of, of G2. That's the main goal. Let the game begin! Can he put them in front? Oh! Jabor opened the scoring. He really needed that one. Surely. Oh, and Jabor hit the crossbar. Basti equalised with a little help from the goalkeeper. And now the delivery. And yeah! the goal! A bullet header from his striker put Javor ahead just before half time. And will it be the leveller? Let's go! Basti showed spirit to level on 49 minutes. Superb entertainment. Short and along the ground. Oh! Yeah! It's Javor with a sweaty. That's 3 2. Gonna get a try. And it's oh! in! Oh! This game was pure fire. Basti back to level pegging. Must take the lead here. And they do. Oh! And
and he soon took the lead, 4-3. That will surely be decisive. And that's full time. Basti nicked this one in a closing minute. Basti, you've done it again. A goal in the last couple of minutes. Every time you kept on going down a goal, did you, was, was you losing faith a little bit? Never. Yeah. Nah, never. Like, for me, going a goal down means that I just need to keep on doing what I do, but like, press it a little bit more. Yeah. That's what I did, more team press. I'll change the camera as well, maybe that helped yeah. a little bit. <laughs> Jace, man, unlucky, brother. Because you was, you was up the most, of, most of the game. You know what, mate? I'm playing against a very good opponent who is miles better than me, yeah. with a much better team. Yeah. And I put on a great show, put up a great fight. Yeah. I couldn't be proud of them for myself, mate. Love that, love that. At the top of the leaderboard with six points, we have Armenia. <laughs> In second place with four points, we have Ruski. Exactly the same points, we have Basti. And third from bottom, we have Crunch. I give up for Crunch because he's safe. And now for the dreaded eliminations. First person to be going home will be with a total of one point. It's sad to see you go, my brother. That will be Jordi Peke. <laughs> Second person to go home. It's unfortunate to see another good brother go. It's Jace, aka Javor. Guys, it's now time to say goodbye to Jace and Jordy as they will be going back to the loft, packing their bags and leaving tonight. I'll leave you guys to it. It is what it is. It is what it is. Okay. I think I'm feeling proud is the main thing. And it's just the beginning, really to more professional streaming. Let the football do the talking, that's what I say. <laughs> I won the first two challenges, so I knew that people were going to be coming after me and to face the two toughest opponents back to back. I fought right up until the end, and that's all, that's all I can do. To see Jay's goal was difficult because me and him have always been going like head to head, always number one and two, one and two. So to see him leave, it's going to be different. I was fighting every minute, but finally, yeah, I like it. the game is the game, and one needs to win, the other needs to lose. I failed two times, so I need to recognize that it was not my best game. Next time on Making the Squad. Oh! We started with 10, we're down to six. I've spent the last couple weeks oh. acting as though I'm not as good as I am. Oh. This isn't my day, you know, and I knew it.